Hey McGinn, good to see you again. It's Mr. Lone, and we are set for our last read aloud of the week. It's kind of an appropriate title. This is the end of this school week, and the book we're going to read today is by an author named John Bray, and the book is called The End, and you'll see what the connections are in this book in a little bit. Uh, wishing everyone an awesome weekend. I uh, hope you stay warm. I know uh, tomorrow's gonna be a little chilly. Perfect time to grab a book, do a little reading. And here we go with this book called The End. Another new one from our latest delivery. The End. What? It is? Oh. You're probably confused because this book is just beginning. But it's still The End. Maybe you were getting dressed and decided to read instead because reading is more fun than finding matching socks. That's The End. Of searching for socks. Maybe you just finished eating lunch. That's the end of lunch. But don't worry, there's still dinner. And sometimes dessert. If you were outside adventuring and it started raining, that's the end of adventuring. Or you might not be at the end of anything. But you're definitely not at the beginning either. Maybe you're building a fort. That means you're in the middle, the place where beginnings and endings meet. If you could run out of blankets, or if you run out of blankets, the middle could feel short. If you keep building and building, it might feel long. But you can't be in the middle forever. That gets boring. Boredom is the end of fun, which means that it's time to begin something new. When you do something, like read this book, or go on an adventure, something else, like finding socks or eating lunch, is ending. That something could be better than what you were doing. Or it could be worse. The end might be a big deal or you might not even notice it but the end of one thing is the beginning of something else and the beginning of one thing is the end of another and that's okay the beginning of what well that's up to you so boys and girls, I love how John Bray, the author there, kind of tied together the fact that even when things end, it's because something else is beginning, something else is starting. So we may wave goodbye to one thing we're doing and then embark or jump into a brand new journey, a brand new adventure, as the book says, okay? Some endings can be sad, some endings can be happy, but when something ends, there's always a new beginning. And I love the fact that you can embrace that new thing and go out and make yourself happy and enjoy it, whatever it is. So embrace the beginnings of new things as some things come to an end. You have an awesome weekend, McGinn. I will see you back here on Monday when we kick it off another week with more read-alouds. Take care.